two for two. Um, so today, um, so like I said yesterday, I am not necessarily going to come on for the entire 30 days. Maybe. I have no idea. Um, there may be some days that I just don't feel like it. But you know, but I'm going to try. So, um, but anyway, I am still doing this challenge, this 30 day challenge, slim down challenge is really important to me. So we did, yesterday was um, a workout that was posted and today is um, some stretching. So I can do this one, this, I can handle the stretching. So, um, so yesterday I said that my sciatic nerve has been pinched for some time. Um, but it is, um, it was actually able to be released with a yoga class from Sherry Jib yesterday. Um, so she did yin yoga and I participated in that last night. And, um, so I can actually move my hand. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. So today's slim down challenge is, um, so the side band stretch. So. Um, putting our arms up. Oh, that feels like a nice stretch. This is a great morning stretch. And that one's a little more tight. Just the activity that we did yesterday, the yoga class that I did yesterday, um, how I ended my day, and um, I did a um, get active class yesterday. So just with that, my mobility is just so much different today. Okay, so neck rolls and stretch. <coughs> So, one of the things that I've learned is to make sure that my shoulders are down when I'm doing this stretch so that my necks and my shoulders are not up like this. And that was, um, I've learned that from different people, but the most important was when I had had my, um, my car accident. And that was one of the places that my shoulder was one of the places that was impacted the most. And so those roll down your shoulders and neck stretch has been something that has really come in handy because especially on this side i can still feel that pinch um in that uh, injury so depending on what i'm doing and how much that i'm doing that pinch comes back and so i have to just be really gentle with it so um some people can actually take their head and put it like right down and stuff like that but I definitely don't. Maybe someday. But right now, I just take it as far as I can. And some days it is lower than others. Okay, so neck roll. I can hear it crinking, crinkling, crinkling in my neck. So my reflexology friends will tell me that those are tense spots that if I'm doing some reflexology, I might feel in my toes. Might feel them in my hands too. I typically don't feel the crunchies in my hands, but I definitely feel them in my toes. So even if somebody does the, the reflexology in my hands, I don't typically feel the crunchies in there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so next one. <coughs> <clears throat> My allergies are really kicking in. <clears throat> um, so the next one is a butterfly stretch. So I have my cushions. I'm going to move that cushion out of the way. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so butterfly. So that's putting your toes in front. Oh, I can definitely feel this today. So some days, so it depends on how far that I can bend or what it is that I'm trying to do. So if I'm trying to do a forward bend, then my butterfly legs are going to be out further. But if I'm trying to get that stretch in 
here, then my butterflies and my toes are going to be in even closer. So it all kind of depends, but I think that I need that forward bend in my butterfly today. So, um, so how is everybody else doing? I can't see. Hey, David, are you doing the stretches with me? You can do this. Oh, that stretch was really, really nice. So I can feel it in my lower back. And especially since I'm still trying to release that sciatic nerve pinch, that's definitely a place that I can feel. Okay. So one of the other things that I like doing with the butterfly, and I'll try and see if I can remember the song for the next day, but it's the, um, there's a butterfly song that you can make your knees come in. Um, I'll try and see if I can remember that one for next time because I can't remember what it is. Um, so forward seated bend. And I guess I kind of did that one already with my knees out. But so, oh my goodness. I can definitely feel that pinch in my calves. So definitely, and I'm not holding my back straight. So it's even less of a bend, but that's okay. Today is the day. So like I said yesterday, I'm showing up in the body that I'm in today. This is a challenge for most of us. <laughs> At least the people that I know. <laughs> So, for some people, this is definitely not an issue. Okay, so the next one is the pigeon pose. So, I know that there's different ways of being able to, there's probably some more um, elegant ways of getting into the pigeon pose, but this is how I get into the pigeon pose. So, it's bending your knee, and this is a pose that I can typically do, typically do really easily. Um, even after my car accident, this was one of the stretches. And so sometimes I need to shift the way that I need to feel so that I can actually feel that stretch in my glutes. Today, I can definitely feel it right where I am so I don't have to shift. And one of the things that I think is like really cool, and I was doing a massage with, um, with Lex <laughs> before all this crazy pandemic stuff happened. And um, she was doing the... Uh, uh, some deep tissue, deep tissue release and one of the things that's really cool is that when you're actually in that position and you're actually trying and you've got that huge tightness is it just releases and pigeon pose actually reminds me of that. So then I just then shift a little bit and I can actually stay in this pose for quite a while and sometimes I actually do depending on where I'm at. Okay so other side. Oh, I can still feel it in there. Not as easy. And like I said, I'm sure that there's some more elegant ways of being able to get into these positions. But this is how I get into the position. I know that I have some yoga friends who can bend and fold into these positions really easily. Even in a yoga class, I'm like down on the floor and putting myself into these positions. Pretty much the same way that I'm doing now. Someday, maybe. Someday, maybe, I will be. Um, I don't have huge upper body strength, so that's one of the reasons why I struggle with that. Ooh, there's that pinch right there. I'm just remembering to breathe through. Okay. So, oh, cat and cow stretch. Okay. I'm trying to remember all the instructions that I've been given over the years. So, okay, so cut. Feel that in my belly. Yeah. 
I know there's supposed to be like an inhale and an exhale specifically of which way to go, and I just breathe. So I just do one position and I breathe in it and stay in it and I just breathe and then I go into the next one. I can definitely feel that in my abs today. And I know that, that was from the stuff that we did yesterday. One of the nice things about being able to feel your abs <laughs> means that they you know that you have them underneath all these puppies. Okay, so, oh, downward dog. Okay, so. This is the last one of today's stretches. Ooh, I can hear some cooking and cracking in my back. So those were my um, stretches for today. So hopefully you guys were able to get those stretches in. So much easier for me today to do these than it was yesterday. And tomorrow we'll see how challenging it was yesterday. And um, and so we will be we're on a run. So we're on at two, two for two. So woohoo! We're making it. We're doing it. So thanks for joining me and participating and helping me with this. So I'm trying to see if I can actually make this to shut off. But oh, that's my mouse. That's my mouse. Okay, guys. So happy. Thursday, and I'll talk to you guys later.